Hi my dudes! So in this video I'll be showing you how to rotate a point around the origin by a given angle. So in this question we're asked to rotate um, the coordinates 3,5 by 45 degrees. So let's first draw that. So the coordinates 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They're around right here and we can draw a triangle. And so this would be five units, and this is three units to give the point three comma five. So now what we're asked to do is rotate this by 45 degrees. So say this is any angle theta, and we just want to rotate that around right the origin 45 degrees to give this point. And we want to know what this point is. So this is 45 degrees right here. An easy way to do this is just by solving this triangle first. So here. Let's find this length. We want to know this length, which we can use to construct this triangle. And then find this length, y, and this length, x. And then we will know the points. So we can solve for this length using uh, the Pythagorean theorem. So this is five, right? Three, and we don't know this angle right here, so let's just call it theta. Oops. Let's just call this, what, z. So five squared plus three squared equals z squared. So that means z squared equals 34 which means z equals the square root of 34. So this length right here is the square root of 34. Let's cross that out because we know it. And so that means this length right over here is also the square root of 34 because you know it's, it's unchanged when we rotate it. Um, but we need to know this angle to use some trigonometry to solve for y and x. And so that means we need to know this angle because we know this one is 45 degrees right here. So if you know a little bit of trigonometry, you know this is for any angle of theta, this is opposite of theta. This is adjacent because it's right next to theta. And then this is the hypotenuse. We can use our trusty Soka Toa to solve for theta. So we know the opposite and adjacent. So this means the tan of theta will equal opposite over adjacent, but we don't know theta. So it turns out there's this function called arctan, which you can input the fraction opposite over adjacent to get theta. So if we do that here, opposite is five, and uh, adjacent is three. If we use our calculator to solve for that, that, that will give us the angle of theta. So, let's see, trigonometry here, that's what the arctan is, whoops. And it's five over three. So that's in radians, that's the angle in radians, which one radian equals 180 over pi degrees. So if we multiply this by 180 over pi will get theta in degrees, which is approximately 59.036 degrees. That's this angle right here. That is 59.036 degrees. That means we can solve for this angle right here by minusing 59.036 degrees and 45 degrees from 180. So that equals um, 75.96 degrees. So I'm gonna draw out this triangle right here. This angle right here is 75.96 degrees and we know the hypotenuse, this length, is the square root of 34. So let's start off by solving for y. We know the hypotenuse and we know the angle, so we can use the sine function to solve for y. So the sine of this angle right here, 75.96 degrees, would equal opposite over hypotenuse, because, you know, Sokotoa. Opposite right here, that's y, and the hypotenuse is the square root of 34. So the square root of 34 times the sine of 75.96 degrees equals y. 
So we can use our calculator to solve for y just by inputting this equation right here. So the square root of 34 times the sine of 75.96 degrees equals y. So that's this length right here. So now we know y, we know the hypotenuse, and so that means we can use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for x. So you know that y squared plus x squared equals the square root of 34 squared, which is just 34. And we know y equals 5.657. That means this squared, which we can find on our calculator, so approximately 32 plus x squared equals 34. So if we minus 32 on each side, we get that x squared equals 2, so that means the square root of 2 equals x. But hold up, x is not the square root of 2 because it's flipped, so that means x is minus the square root of 2. Because you can see we're to the left of the coordinate plane, so that's a negative, but y stays positive. So that means this distance is minus the square root of 2, and this is 5.657. So that, you guys, is the final point. Let's write it out. 5, 7. So that, you guys, is the answer. And there are many different ways to do this. You can solve um, using complex numbers, but I think this is just a sort of basic intuitive way. If you know a little bit of trigonometry, you can solve questions like these. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let me know if you need help on any other questions. Toodles!